I bought a $5 Disney Encanto Ultimate Coloring Book. And I spent 30 hours of my life transforming wholesome coloring pages into degenerate horror art. Just a quick warning before we get any further. If you don't enjoy drawings of gore, blood, and other disturbing things, this video might not be for you. I draw some pretty gross things in this video. There's also going to be a trypophobia warning for an upcoming drawing. I'll let you know again before that comes up, so if that is something you can't handle, you can skip that one. If you enjoy horror art videos like this one, consider subscribing. I upload new ones each week, unless they take longer like this one. It took me two weeks. But normally each week, and that way you won't miss out. But with that being said, I've got heaps of drawings in this video to share with you all, so let's get right into it. Enjoy. Coolrophobia is the fear of clowns, and with that, the first drawing is done. Moving on to the next abomination, this one's gonna be disgusting. Let me know if you can pick up on the reference for this one. Any horror manga fans out there? This one is inspired by Junji Ito, and I'm calling it the Spaghetti Pimple Face, and it is absolutely disgusting, but at the same time, I kind of want to squeeze her face. What the hell is wrong with me? I think it's time to add some more colour into the next drawing. See how quickly you can guess the inspiration for this one. It should be pretty easy by now. This transformation is inspired by Sally from one of my favourite childhood movies, The Nightmare Before Christmas. This artwork is definitely the prettiest drawing of this video, and it's all downhill from here. We've got some gross stuff coming up. Prepare yourself. Insane amounts of time-consuming line work, check. Another use of Junji Ito reference, check. 
over-reliance on blood and gore. Check. Yeah, this drawing's pretty much done. On to the next one. I think I just drew a mutant killer guinea pig. I think it's time for a scary drawing. Ooh, ooh scary old lady. Grandma wants a kiss. Okay, Grandma, just don't use tongue. <laughs> or teeth. So earlier when I said that Sally drawing was the prettiest drawing of the video, I lied. Obviously, Granny over here is looking mighty fine. <laughs> Another spooky drawing. Maybe I should hum a little song to make it even more creepy, like they do in the movies. <laughs> Is it working? Are you scared? Or do you just think I'm a massive weirdo? Probably the latter. She may have lost her eyes, but she can still see you. She's got a massive eye in her neck. If it was a video game, you'd definitely target the eye. It's the weak spot. But she's watching, always watching. Just can't wear scarves anymore. Trypophobia warning. Skip ahead to the next section if you don't like lots of little holes before it's too late. They're everywhere. Ugh.
Congratulations if you managed to sit through this disgusting artwork. We're going to take a second to welcome back any trypophobic viewers who are joining us again. Hello friends, you're in a safe space. I've got some lovely drawings to share with you still. Enjoy. We've got one more little drawing before jumping into the final artwork of this video. If you've been enjoying it so far, why don't you give it a thumbs up? It helps out my channel and would be much appreciated. With that little creepy artwork done, we're on to the last drawing of the video. If you've made it this far into the video and you haven't already subscribed to my channel, it's probably a good time to do so. I upload lots of videos like this and if you've enjoyed it, why not subscribe? Are you scared? Are you too scared to subscribe to me, is that why? Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's the end of the video. 30 hours of drawing compressed into what you've just watched. A massive thank you to all of my awesome patrons for supporting my channel. Really appreciate you guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.